Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Nuisance Control. Pretty much beaver jobs for the summer. Hunter Boy and I have been, uh, came out yesterday, set a bunch of traps, and uh, we uh, <coughs> got a lodge here. This is a beaver. We got a big pond behind us here. Um, just on the other side there, that brush pile of my truck. And it comes up to this canal that runs right through here. So we got a canal that runs right through here. It goes up, there's a little dam up here. You'll see us blow up, because I got permission to blow it. So we'll get a video of some tannerite videos. But uh, this is what we were looking at here. So first morning check, we got daddy, mama, and two babies. So I'm hoping that's it, because this is, uh, I got underbid on this job. Um, so we're going to try to get in and out in less than a week. Told him I'd go one day without catching and I'm pulling trap. So that's what we're looking at. So we got four beaver in one night out of six sets. We also had an incidental. So five catches out of six sets. Pretty damn good odds. You guys are good with math. I'm thinking it's kind of somewhere close to 80 and 75 for beef. But I'm going to take you over here because this is the uh, first time I've ever trapped an actual lodge. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of interesting. This kind of makes me think of up north and stuff. But I'm walking over here now and kind of give you a layout. So all these sets are within like 20 yards. But uh, here you go. It's an actual lodge here in Iowa. Most of our stuff would be bank dens up there. But uh, we got this main lake here. Channel coming up to the lodge here. We got a trap here. We got a trap there. We got a trap on the other side. And another lodge entrance there. Try to get you a better image. So I got one, two, three, four. There's a trap in this run here. And we got a trap kind of off that point. That uh, that's where we caught an incidental at. So um, he was fine. We let him go. But this one caught today. That uh, cast around over there caught. The lodge caught. And this entrance here caught. Nothing in that one. So, like I said, it's pretty neat to actually see a beaver lodge. Um, not your typical what I've been used to, trapping creeks and streams. Something new. Makes it a little easier when you can actually find the lodge and put traps in front of it. So, but uh, try to double up on them runs. I was thinking about it, but I don't think. On a lake this big, there could be a lot. There's a lot of beaver damage on the other side. But part of my permit is if I get caught breaking any of the laws, I lose it. So, with that being said, because this is a shared lake, in order for me to trap everything on the other side, I had to get permission from this landowner with the dock back there and the guy who owns that half. And the guy on that half said no. So, we're not trapping it. So this is one of those jobs you wanted me to try to get them all gone. With only being able to trap half the lake. You're kind of shit out of luck, buddy. Um, we'll trap what we can. If this is the primary lodge and they don't have any bank dens, we'll be good. Um, we'll know here in a couple more days. Um, my work schedule's starting to lighten up a little bit. So I should be able to spend a little more time doing this kind of stuff now on the side but like I said I generally keep my rates pretty reasonable this guy kind of wheeled and dealed and if I didn't need the money I'd probably turn it down but I need the money so I didn't turn it down but I just made the terms a little more strict and here's the deal I'm going to drive right to it I'm going to trap it I go one day without catching anything. If I'm losing money, I'm pulling traps. But uh, we're talking. 
I might trap it year-round. My buddy's willing to pay a lease for this property to possibly hunt it. And if I could get permission to hunt it um, with him, I won't charge the guy. So, we'll see. I got permission to trap it in the fall. Coyotes, and if you look, beautiful country behind me. But uh, it's always a good day. We're, we're not going to take these with us. Um, I might try to get a hold of one of my coyote buddies and see what the hell he's doing. If he wants them for a bait. Otherwise, we're going to take them. Um, get rid of them because that's part of my permit. I can't keep them here in Iowa on my nuisance control permit. So... As long as I got somewhere to bury him or discard him, we're going to do that. Um, being as he's cut my price down, wheeled, negotiated me down to a lower price, the disposal is not in there. So we'll probably just leave him up here somewhere where he can see him and uh, let the coyotes have him. But <clears throat> some we're looking at, like I said, hopefully. This next fall, you'll be able to watch me trap most of this. It's everything you can see behind me. And all the way up there, big chunk of property. It's like 200-something acres here. All right, well, I got to get my waders off. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get on. Because the longer we spend here, the less money I'm making. And we got to get the boat ready. We're going boating tonight. We're going to go try to do some fishing. So maybe you guys are lucky. I'll bring you along with that, but... Usually if I'm fishing with the girls, I don't get a chance to do much of anything else but take fish off the hook. So, it's what it is. Alright guys, well, we'll see you in the next video. Sorry I didn't get to show you all the walk-ups and all that stuff, but like I said, it's hard enough for me to walk, let alone walk in that mess, because it's a lot of, there are a lot of deep holes. You're crawling, next thing you know, you're walk six inches and it goes from six inches of water to three or four foot of water so main, main lodge runs that have been here for years but all right guys god bless keep on grinding okay happy memorial day weekend guys hope you guys had a good weekend we're out here hanging out with thomas and the family uh just having a good little barbecue now uh we're trying to hit a thousand subscribers and if we hit it we found out what we're gonna do for the thousand subscribers you almost <laughs> talked me into it tonight but I talked myself out of it we'll do uh, the one chip challenge the pocky one chip challenge uh, yeah let's hit a thousand let's try to get that thousand subscribers so go ahead and uh, share this with everybody you know and uh, let's get it I'll do it I'm not looking forward to it though so, uh, yeah, he's been telling me stories. I'm kind of nervous. But, uh, nope, we're just having a good time. Oh, okay. oh, look, there's Allie. There's Allie. She's in the picture. But uh, we're going to go uh, do some beaver trapping later on tonight here. Go we'll check the traps. Haven't had a chance to check them today. But All right, guys, like I said, get out there and uh, like, share, get your buddies on here. You hit a thousand, we'll do the chip challenge. Again, I'm not looking forward to it, so but we'll do it. Yeah. We'll make sure uh we'll make sure Thomas is on on this because uh Yeah, that's his idea. So uh Alright guys, we'll uh we'll see you at a thousand or next trapping video. There goes a flying unicorn. Alright.